Captain, we need more power. <laughs> I'm giving her all she's got. All she got, Captain. Welcome to a daily Bible study and happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. What a day. Spend a moment. Just spend a moment. I know. And just be grateful. Amen. A moment of gratitude. What's our scripture today? Uh, today's Psalms 119 and verse 105, and uh, we're going to be talking about how God keeps us even when we don't know what's going to happen next. He's with he us. He keeps us, you said, in the dark. Yeah, how often are we walking through darkness? But anyway, we'll be right back. Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up. Where we wake up. Captain Kirk. <laughs> Show the clip. Show it. Show it. <laughs> I'm ah, waiting for you to wait through the shirt no, again. No, that's waiting. so good. I'm wearing it right now. I know. That's with why the I, black, too. With the black. It's so perfect. Yep, I am Captain Kirk. Yeah, that's true. I'm Spock. <laughs> and uh, we were talking about your message this, from this last week about, you know, sometimes we, we have God isn't letting us, letting us in on where we're going. Like, Most of the time to me. He's well, not I don't know about telling you. us what's next. And, and we're like, well, what about, you know, why, why don't you just tell me the whole <laughs> plan, Lord? Tell me what the year looks like. Why didn't like? he tell Moses? He said, hey, Moses, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> a bunch of plagues. Then I'm going to lead you through the desert, a long route. We have, there's going to be a sea there. We're going to build a tabernacle. We're going to, we're going to part the Red Sea. It's yeah. going to be super oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There'll be like a he, movie no, about it in the in the 60s and when the Academy Awards. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. There's prophecies, but even prophecies are little pieces of a puzzle that you don't know how to fit together. So. Right. And they're so... They're you know, vague. They're so vague that even the, the people that knew the whole Bible missed Jesus. Yeah. They missed Jesus. So let's watch this clip. God is working behind the scenes in the midst of the dark to bring you a great life. How you choose to look at it determines how you experience life. If you think that you know, God is just you know, hiding things from you, not letting you know what's up, then what happens is, is your fear is propelling or pushing back the promises of God. When, when I go, and then they didn't keep going because they should have went to the next one. I, they stopped me too. It was, it was, it was. Because then you was, talk about that when you see God holds me, He's with me. You, he, I trust God that, that I, He keeps me in the dark. And then your faith begins to bring God's promises into your life. You can walk confident. You can walk faith. Like I don't know what's going on up ahead of me, but I know that God is with me, so it's not a big deal. In my neighborhood, me and my wife take a lot of walks. Um, almost every night we take a long walk, and um, it's very, very dark in my neighborhood. I live in Apache Junction, right out among the critters and the creepy crawlies. No, it's out in the in the kind of the boonies for Arizona. A and it's bit. a paved road, but yeah. it's not uncommon for coyotes to come across the street or for the for the, there Snakes. to be a rattlesnake. Yeah, it's not uncommon to see stuff like that, and so. You walk and you have like a little flashlight and you can really only kind of see your feet yeah because it's just so dark you can shine the light and you don't see very far ahead but you can see right where you are right and uh, i i kind of picture that this scripture reminds me of that psalms 119 and verse 105 your word is a lamp right. to my feet come on I... just kind of stop right there like why would you need a lamp on your feet if it were daylight right because it's dark you get the idea that it's not daylight Right. You're kind of in the dark, and, and you can see your feet. Right. You can see where you're stepping, and isn't that how God guides us? Yeah. It'd be neat if God just had a, a spotlight, like you find on a Jeep, like a big old one, and you can see all the way up ahead. And you're like, hey, like, and God's like, hey, on the way home tonight, when you get home, don't ask your wife and go, so what'd you do all day? Like, <laughs> that'll turn into a fight. <laughs> So what'd you do all day? Like, it was, well, the place is a mess. What'd yeah, you do all what's day? What's going on around here? What'd you do? Well, I work. <laughs> so here's what I want you to do when you get home. Just encourage her, build her up, right? God doesn't give you a spotlight up ahead. Uh -huh. Instead, it's just like a little, a little thing right here. Yeah. To figure out. And so we have to learn that, and you know what? It's interesting. I was watching, somebody showed up on TikTok and he was talking to somebody asked him, well, how come God doesn't tell everybody everything, you know, what's going on? And he literally goes, he goes, then you wouldn't need faith. Exactly. There'd be no reason to have faith. Greater and if he shows, is he... why does God not show himself and just come down here in the parking lot? Yeah. He goes, well, then you wouldn't have to believe in God. You would, it would no longer be, you, it would never be a belief, it'd be a, a fact. Uh, and then I would also say he did. <laughs> he did show himself on earth. And they still didn't believe him. Like he dropped down on earth, was born to a virgin, and, and was God on earth. Did miracles. And also creation. In creation, we can clearly see, see God, God's eternal nature and his divine power, clearly seen by what has been made. It's obvious. 
Right. You're looking at God when you look out at the but stars it still in the sky. Takes faith. You're looking at God when you look at a tree, when you look at a newborn baby. You're looking at the Lord's workings, right. His hands. It's interesting. I was talking to uh, a non-believer. He's he's he literally a buddy of mine that God's put on my heart to get him saved. And he was just talking about the magnificence of the the telescope and what you can see in space and how unbelievable it is. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's God. It just yeah. got quiet. Yeah. Get them thinking, right? Get them thinking. Um, Get them thinking yeah. about the magnificence. But God is, here's the thing that we have to realize. God's with you in the dark, mm-hmm. right? He's with you. Now, you may have a little light here, but but when you begin to realize and understand that He is working behind, and this is what I, the point that I was really trying to get, is that God is working on your behalf. You may not see it, but He is working. Joseph and Mary didn't see how many things God had to do to navigate their safety, to navigate what's going on around them, to finance the kingdom. They didn't yeah. know that money was coming. Right. They had no idea. I'm sure they were trying to figure things out. Like, well, how are we going to... How are we going to pay for the Son of God? Son of my God. We, what yeah. kind of school do you got to send him to? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's going to be expensive. You ever think about that? You know how, uh, how moms always brag about their kids? Oh, yes, yeah, Susie. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Susie got straight A's. That's really... That's neat. Yeah, m- my child is going to uh, save mankind. So... <laughs> Right, gonna die, you're raised gonna from die the dead, the sins do of the world and defeat and heal people. Death, hell, and sin. Yeah, but the, the straight A's is great. Yeah, so, you're, but so Timmy's excited. a great piano player. Yeah. He's fantastic. I'm sure that baseball Very. is gonna take him real far. <laughs> she had bragging rights. She had ultimate bragging rights. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, anyways, we just want you to remember this today. Trust God, even in when you don't know where things are going, when you're not sure what's happening or where you are. Trust God. Get the word of God and make it a lamp unto your feet. And watch God give you the victory. Keep Partner with us. Yeah. Uh, whatever that is. I've been very impressed at, at uh, the amount of people that have been partnering with us. We read them on Friday. We read them tomorrow. Uh, and uh, thank you very much for allowing... Because it allows us to push the gospel out there. Yeah. It really does. Uh, when you're a part of that. whatever It could be a dollar an episode. Whatever God puts on your heart. Um, when you give, it really helps us get this message out to a dying world. Amen. Make a difference. Mm-hmm. Right? You give to Taco Bell, give to Wake Up. Well, I was thinking about, like, I wasn't going to say it, but like, you know, Twitch or some of these video game... People uh, give to people, people play donate, video games. People donate a lot of money to people playing video games. And um, that's not really... I mean, that's fine. Do what you want with your money. You don't but, care. But this is... It's not changing the world. This is touching lives, right? And uh, at least we we pray that it, that it is touching lives. So, Amen. I just uh, encourage you be be generous. You want to pray for? Them? Yep, Father God, I thank you, Lord, for Thanksgiving. I thank you, Lord, that you're bringing bringing families together today. That those today who are maybe without family and sitting alone, Lord, that you'd be closer to them than you've ever been. Yes, that they would really feel your presence in the room, Lord, and they, that they would know that that they are loved and they are cared for. I thank you, Lord, for favor on everybody's life, Lord, that you're. You're drawing hearts together, that you're rejoicing over us with singing, Father God, that you're so proud of us and that you call us the righteousness of God and we are holy and that we are rewarded according to the righteousness of Christ. I thank you, Lord, for every breath we take. In Jesus' name, every, amen. Every move we make. Mm. Birthday Thursday. Holly Berry. That's, That's crazy. A she, very cool name. She's still so young. I know. She, does, she seems, seems like she doesn't like even was age. X Men ten years ago, but I guess she's ten now. Halle Berry turns ten years old. On I think this is a different Halle Berry. You would never know that. You're guessing. And you're unique, and you're special, and you're amazing. And you're name. ten, and we say happy birthday. All right. This week's wake up survey was Christmas shopping. Okay. Do you shop online or go to the store or both? Mostly, we're online. Forty yep. percent. I'm almost online only. I'm very close. So if you add those two together, eighty-five percent are online wow. shopping. Wow! Isn't it crazy how only fifteen percent are still mostly in stores? Which I, makes sense. I was at the Scottsdale Mall on Friday night, which is usually hopping this time of year. Oh and it yeah. was a ghost town. Was it really? It's a ghost town. I wonder if malls are going to make it. Yeah, brick and mortar. I don't know if they can compete with the no shipping shows up to your door tomorrow and you didn't have to leave. Or sometimes today. You ever get that on Amazon? They're like, hey, would you like it right now? I'm like, yeah, I'd like it. And they're like, here you go, sir. That was fast. But you didn't buy it yet. You're like, I didn't buy it yet. He's like, dang it. (laughs) I thought he clicked it. It looked like he clicked it. Bonus question. When do you do your shopping? 10% before Thanksgiving. Is that 10%? 20%? 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 
20% before Thanksgiving, 15% Black Friday week. Well, now, wait a second. That, that doesn't make sense because only 2% of our viewers do Black Friday. Yeah, but you shop online because 80% shop online. Okay, okay. That's okay. the best sales. You're right, you're right, you're right. All through December, 55 do all through last week before Christmas. Go play for them. Christmas Eve, 5%. There are people that go out and they shop. And they actually, they enjoy it. They do. They're the procrastinators of the Christmas holidays. The face you make when you realize you only have a week to do your Christmas shopping. Yes. That's Chevy Chase. I love him. It's one of the best jokes of all time. Um, What's our next survey? Our next survey, and I like the survey. All right, Jason. It's very narcissistic. Okay, but this is all about me. I love that. <laughs> okay, are we nope. keep, are we keeping this? The stubble. Do we shave it off, or do we grow it more? Yeah. What do you want? And then I'm gonna add one more. Do you want like I love it, and I would I would do it a big full crazy beard. So you got the shave it off, keep the stubble, beard, and then that just that ZZ top like. And, you, and yeah, yeah. And whatever you say goes easy. I want them to grow it. Well, whatever they say, I have to do. I want it. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> Watch this clip. Even the dark isn't dark to you and I, as we are Christians. We got God with us. It's like it is dark out there, but to us, it's not. Inflation seems like it's dark to the world, but for us, we 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 don't just survive, but we thrive in the midst of inflation. Right? Depression might be running rampant, but in depression moments, we have the joy of the Lord that overfloods our soul. Though it looks like it's dark, it's not dark for us. We walk, and the dark is light in our world. I wanted to kind of do, as we're approaching Christmas and the holidays, kind of get into like a Christmas story. And I think that sometimes we can get busy in life, and we can kind of, somehow, the, what the meaning of Christmas gets lost. Right? What Christmas is about. Christmas is about the world was dark and God gave his only son to bring light into the midst of darkness. And that light continues to shine through you and through me. That we go out of the world called to be a bright light in the midst of the darkness. And it all started a few thousand years ago. And we're going to pick up the story where the wise men had been looking to travel over a thousand miles to find this savior. And on the way they, they bump into Herod. The king of the Jews at the time. And Herod pretends like he wants to. He's like oh my gosh. Yeah I'd love to worship this new king. Let me know you know where. It, when you find come back and let me know. And the whole reason was is that he wanted to. Kill Jesus. He wanted to kill the king. It's interesting that the wise men then have. A dream that. Mary and Joseph don't even know all this is going on. That God is working on the behalf of protecting their home and their family without them even knowing what's going on. And so we pick up here the story in uh, Matthew chapter 2 and verse 13. The wise men had just uh, taken off. And when they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said. Take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. Thanks for the heads up, God. Right? Really? You couldn't have told me last week. Couldn't have told me a year ago. Right? You're thinking about for Joseph and for Mary. Like, like you couldn't have told me five years ago. Hey, in five years from now, you want to get your stuff in order. You want to be able to pack up. You ever feel like, like God, what, what, where's the heads up? You ever feel like, God, what, why do you wait till the last second to give me any information? It's in the middle of the night that I have to pack up. Right? Why, God, if you'd have just told me about that person, that what a jerk they are and the things they would do, right? I would have never put them in my phone. I never would have talked to them. I would have saved me a whole lot of heartache and pain if you just give me a little heads up. Anybody else feel like that once in a while? So, so Kelly says to me, she says, um, now did you know your brother has a beard? Yeah. I was like, what kind of question is that? Did you know I had a beard? Yes. Oh, okay. I, was, I, I didn't know if you were like, you go, Why stop. Would, but you just asked the same question that she asked. Why would you ask that? What did I ask? I missed it. Do I know that you have a beard? I'm, I well, see the, you all the time. I know. I but do the a way show you, with you. I believe you knew it, but the way you said it sounded like you didn't know I had a beard. <laughs> and I, I, she goes, did you know your brother has a beard? I go, <laughs> I see him like every day of my life. You've got to ask her a question tonight for How all of us I to tell us. How possibly not know that he has a beard? Wait, wait, you have to ask. We have like, to find do something. Do you honestly think that I just walk around my eyes closed? 
<laughs> Have you ever been in a movie and your wife was like, look at that? Yeah. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't looking. <laughs> it's a 40-foot screen in front of me. I'm watching the same thing you're watching. Did you see that? Yes, I did saw it. Did you see that, that part? You got to ask her tonight. No, it's now, did you, did you this, know is a, this is your back to the whole hit thing. This did is you know new. That, oh, I forgot. He I used to do this. this all the time. It's been it's been like a year though. But uh, you did it like about in all the, almost every taping today. Really? Count them. Which is just one. Count them. Uh, do one no, today. no, count them all. Go back and watch it. And every see how many tape. Times. You just did, did it that. again. No, I did that on purpose though. Like he'll, I'll be talking and he'll go, he'll hit me or he'll he'll hit Why me when he I starts talking. That? I don't know. It just started it again though. I do it to Holly. It went away for a while, but then now it's back. Because I want I want you to laugh. It's like my little in my world. Tappy tappy thing. <laughs> Get into my world. Don't forget about your digital Christmas cards. Just yeah, hash, send them to us. Hashtag wake up Christmas or Christmas wake up. What are we doing? Wake up Christmas. Wake up Christmas. Hashtag. We'll find them. We'll put them on the show yeah. or put them on our. I want to see your Christmas, Christmas cards. day. Yeah. And uh, anyway, did we watch a clip yet? We did. Well, then you have an incredible, awesome, amazing day. What is, it? What is today? Happy Thanksgiving. 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 Enjoy. Thank you.